Hi, this is Gail Cook with the City of Seabrook. Wanted to show you just briefly the city's GIS and mapping system as you uh, migrate through working on the Comprehensive Master Plan Review Committee. This tool might become helpful in reviewing the different land uses and zoning uh, districts for certain areas or tracts of land. If you go to the city's website, Seabrook, seabrooktx.gov, uh, this is our homepage. If you scroll down, there's uh, at the end here, you'll see a city maps GIS icon. If you click on there, there's a home page that will come up for our mapping system. Once this comes up, I'll show you there's two locations of interest for this group that will be helpful. So this is the home page for GIS. You scroll halfway down, there is a um, link for the comprehensive master plan currently and also what we call the community portal map viewer. When you click on these, uh, it'll take you over to a mapping system. And I'm going to go ahead and flip over. It's a little slow in loading. Um, this is what it looks like when it comes up. So these are the current uh, land use, our current comprehensive master plan. So on the top right here, you can click on the legend, or excuse me, top left legend. And it'll bring this up to kind of show you what the designations are. And then also in the later system, you can add uh, railroads, proposed thoroughfares on or off, uh, as well as the land use by parcel. So that is a tool that you can use on the home page. Also on the home page, um, there is an icon that says, get back up to it. A community portal map viewer. So when you click on that, this one's preloaded, this map comes up and this up at the top right corner is layers list. If you click on that, uh, you can, this will come up pre-populated, but if you unclick everything, scroll down to official zoning districts, click on that, this is the layer that you see. Uh, by default, the map or the aerial view that we're seeing right here is not default. So if you click on this base map gallery, this map comes up and you can do all kinds of uh, backgrounds, but usually imagery is the most helpful. This allows you to kind of see if there's any current construction on the ground or if it's a single family resident along with the boundary lines. But this is the current zoning. Uh, so we'll turn the legend back on. You can kind of reference uh, the different areas of town that will be referenced. So for instance, on the north side, uh, LI Light Industrial District, where that Light Industrial District kind of overlays on the North District, where the C2 cuts off, uh, etc. The hashtag at the bottom, PUD, uh, we'll talk a lot about that, but it, that is for the planned unit development. Um, and so we have several of those around town, and you'll see that those are uh, hashed out. So for instance, this is Towers Apartments. And if you scroll in, it'll repopulate. It says PUD, so by ordinance, this is a uh, master plan and has different designations than our regular zoning. So we hope that you find this interesting. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Thanks.